A 24-year-old mother accused of an unspeakable crime tonight. Police say Tierra Ortega killed her baby girl, then threw her one-year-old son off the balcony of their Upland apartment. And tonight, Ortega is behind bars. She's facing felony charges. This all happened at the family's apartment on North Wedgwood Avenue in Upland. And CBS 2's Nicole Comstock is live with this update. Nicole. Well, Pat and Jeff, tonight investigators are still trying to figure out why this young mother would want to hurt her two children, throwing her son off a second story landing out here behind us. And just a few moments ago, police identified that mother and also released her booking photo that was taken after she threw herself face first down a flight of concrete stairs. An evidence marker now rests in the courtyard of the Upland apartment complex where a one-year-old boy was tossed off a second-story landing. By nighttime, grieving neighbors had propped two stuffed bunnies up on the mailbox, one blue, the other pink, for the baby boy who miraculously survived and his six-month-old sister who was murdered, police say, at their mother's hands. This is 24-year-old Tierra Rose Ortega. I don't know what happened to her, really, because she looked very nice girl. And here Ortega is sitting outside in handcuffs after a neighbor called 911 Tuesday morning and reported her dangling and then dropping the boy over the edge. She saw the officers and they saw her. That's where she just proceeded to jump from the upstairs landing. This was Ortega's booking photo after she hurled herself face first down the concrete stairs. Tonight, police say she'll be charged with homicide, attempted homicide, and child abuse. Officers found her baby girl gravely injured inside her apartment. Both children were flown to the hospital where the little girl passed away. The baby's father tried to push past officers when he arrived. Police say there was no history of violence at the home, and neighbors say the mother never showed any signs that she was struggling. She's like I said, you gotta be ill to do that to your own kids. But instead of condemning this mother, many people in this community are offering compassion, wondering if this young woman with two babies close in age could have been suffering from postpartum depression. She's going to realize she could have got help and she, she didn't have to go this way. She didn't have to do that to the babies. And police tell us that six-month-old baby girl who passed away had a skull fracture and possibly other internal injuries, and that her brother who survived this has a broken foot, but he is expected to make it. For now, reporting live in Upland, Nicole Comstock, CBS 2 News.